A beloved LGBTQ Pride Month event created in honor of Judy Garland is celebrating a milestone anniversary this year, just days before Garland's own centennial. The 10th annual Night of a Thousand Judies will feature musical performances by a host of Broadway and television luminaries, including Tracy Bennett, Catherine Gallagher, Nathan Lee Graham and more. The one-night event will take place Sunday before a live audience for the first time since 2019 at Joe's Pub at the Public Theater in New York. Hosted by writer-performer Justin Serre, the show is a poignant tribute to Garland, who died in 1969 at age 47 but would be turning 100 on June 10. Audiences can expect to see chilling interpretations of classic Garland moments like 1939's The Wizard of Oz and 1954's A Star is Born. Proceeds from the event will benefit the Ali Forney Center, a New York-based advocacy group for homeless LGBTQ youth. Sarah, who has written for the television series Two Broke Girls and the Cool Kids, said Night of a Thousand Judies has become a more intimate affair since it was first staged in 2012. Over time, Sarah and their producers have also made an effort to diversify the evening's lineup. As to I Garland's films, Concerts and television performances continue to resonate with modern audiences more than 50 years after her death, Sarah believes it's her achingly sincere and honest approach to singing and acting. I think great talent is always a gift, and surely Judy Garland has that, Sarah said. But more so, I think she's a tonic for the times. She puts it all out there. She sings your heartbreak, your pain, and your joy in the face of it all. I love to see how brilliant performers take on the mantle of Judy Garland, they continued, and make it their own. In addition to their Judy's gig, Sarah unveiled a new book last month. Titled From Gay to Z, a queer compendium, the book is a fun and funny dive into an ever-evolving culture, they said. I was getting all these letters and messages from young queer people, saying that they marveled at my knowledge of gay culture and wanted to learn about it for themselves, but was there a book? There wasn't, Sarah said. At least nothing I could find. So I set out to set the record straight, or queer as it were. It was my girlfriend. In honor of Night of a Thousand Judies, HuffPost asked Sarah to rank their top Garland performances. Here are Sarah's picks.